I was in my care home at the semi-independent place and a car come up on the drive, didn't know who it was. And then a bag got put over my head, got flung in the boot, got taken to a random house out in the country, got flannels put over my face, got waterboarded, got stripped, got beaten. I was stabbed once in my shoulder and twice in my leg. When I got let go, I was laying on the road dying. Kidnapped while in care. He's 17 and has been in care since the age of five. For the past two years, he's been living in unregulated homes. Most weeks he goes missing, often to sell drugs. I was going missing every day for like months on end. Did the unregulated home have your phone number? Yeah. Were they ringing you? No. How easy was it for you to get involved in County Lines drug dealing? Easy. He was repeatedly exploited by drug gangs. I'll be at one place, they will take me to another place. To sell heroin and yeah. crack cocaine. Why didn't you say no? They said, if you say no, you're going to get killed or your family's getting killed. Our figures indicate the number of times young people have gone missing from unregulated homes has more than doubled in the last three years. All the money I got from doing it, I was using it to get home. This teenager was sent hundreds of miles away to North Wales. There was no family around me. I had no friends. Everyone was coming up to me because they knew I weren't from the area. Can you do this for us? Can you do that? Two months in being there, I lost my mum. When I lost my mum, they didn't try to arrange to go to the funeral. So I didn't get to go to my mum's funeral. The care system made me, social services and the government made me just feel like I didn't want to be around no more. Did you try and take yeah, your life? I tried a couple times. What was going through your mind? That I want to see my mum for a last time and I could get out of this world where no one cares about me. I was on the top of the city's most reported missing list. I was going missing every day. These times it was either me clutching up my mates or I'll be in the next county, hundreds of miles away, just sitting in a crack den, doing life all wrong, bro, doing it all wrong. We've estimated last year, police forces spent at least 50 million pounds searching for missing children in care. This child is 16. After years in care, he moved into unregulated homes. Some were surrounded by drugs and violence. But the one was before, there was just constant, like, was constant drug use. My, my whole road was a drug hotspot, so surrounded by nitties and like, crackheads all day long. You want to come home to a safe place, you want to be comfortable in your home, innit? You don't want to be sitting on thinking, am I going to get robbed? It ruined me mentally because it put me out on the roadside. I've been Brighton, I've been Ipswich, everybody knows about Ipswich, Southampton, Aylesbury, I've been everywhere, bro. He says, he now sells drugs across the country. I'm not like other people. I was making just enough to scrape back so I can give my mum a little piece here and there. Those men who are sending you all over the country, uh. why don't you say no to them? If I say no, I'm going to have nothing to eat when I get home. I'm going to have no credit to call my mum. If I say no to these people, they can find another you in a care home who's going to do exactly what they want them to do. It's not a problem for them. We've been told these pictures show young people in unregulated homes with weapons and drugs. We found out more than 50 people were sexually abused or exploited after going missing last year. Our information requests also revealed that around one in six missing episodes features a young person already known to be at risk of child sexual exploitation. What should happen to these homes? They need to be watched more. They need to have inspectors and professional people who actually know what they're doing going in there, checking there, and regulating the thing. Fam, you could be running a full-on crack operation in a care home and wouldn't no one know anything. I thought being in care would give me some sort of childhood. They're saying that they're there to support you. It's a lie. It's a recruiting game. They're going to put kids into homes. They're going to get recruited. The same stuff's going to keep going on. There are more than 5,000 vulnerable children and young people living in unregulated homes across England and Wales. Tonight, on average, 30 will go missing, often unseen and unheard. At Thomas, BBC News.